Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus, again, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. I want to thank you so very much for giving me this your time, and I hope to use it well. I'd like to share with you a analogy that would reflect what I believe many Americans and perhaps people of the world are missing when it comes down to this higher power, this power that many call God, others call Allah, and others call so on and so forth as it goes. But here's the message for those of you who are under Christianity. I'd like to share with you a comparison, one perspective versus another. Here is a world and there are two ideals on it. One is an idea that produces peace, prosperity, and joy. The other is and produces chaos. Now on either side of these ideas, the participants each require the same essentials for survival. No one has anything that's different, greater, or above. On one idea, we see a society that's being created based upon the principles that everything that exists, including the humans themselves, are given. And the ability to draw from within all that is necessary to reach without and bring unto itself that which satisfies and gives life and its abundance. And on the other idea, the same exists. But not on the premise of doing unto others as you have others do unto you, but by basically taking control and forcing obedience. So rather than recognize that all of the resources that are available on the earth that's been given to all, they claim it as their own. and use it to serve the needs that the people have, but to manipulate it, to exploit it, to take from it that which they can use, that which those who are doing the exploiting can use, to set them on a standard <coughs> superior to all others. And though what they do causes all kinds of poverty and crime and violence, it even causes terrorism and it causes battles and it causes war. But what do you do? You, pull, you build jails and you build prisons and you indoctrinate based upon where your philosophy is leading. And on the other side, they take from the earth everything that they need. And what do they do? You find that on either side of the coin, buildings, education, careers of any imagination, you find it on either side. You have planes and trains and spaceships, so on and so forth. But on the one hand, it's for reaching out beyond where we're at to advance into the imaginary areas of consciousness, to go where dreams and only dreams can get you. While on the other hand, you are aspiring for these, but basically you're competing against yourself, so you're building to have war. 
Because when there is a lack of justice, war is destined when the jails are overcrowded and the pleas go unanswered. And so on the one hand, you are working together, owning partnership in the creative process that gives you the peace and the, pros the prosperity and the joy. And on the other hand, <laughs> you're battling and battling and some got and some don't and some will and some won't and everybody lying and cheating and doing whatever is necessary to survive. Now, here we go. You see those two scenarios, right? All right. Now, for me and to the Christian, I'm going to say that the one that I was talking about, all that good stuff, I'm going to say that's God. Now, you would agree that just for the sake of this conversation that you could put God on that side, right? And the other side where all the chaos comes from, that which is representative of basically the, not just our society, but really represents the world. I'm sure you, we can, we might, so you don't put it on man, so you don't put it on yourself. Just, and just want to put it on something else. Let's just call that the devil, okay? We call that the devil. So now you got what God's world looks like. You got what the devil's world looks like. Now, you take that and you merge it together. You got all that chaos. You got all this God in there, right? Right. Coming together. It's all in the melting pot. Somewhere somebody said, well, let them grow. Let the wheat and the weeds and all that stuff grow together. Yes, it's almost like saying, let the oil and the water lay together. It ain't going to mix. Do you agree? It ain't going to mix. So neither will the wheat and the grass mix. But what it's basically saying is that you put people in the same spot where everybody, everybody have the same wants, the same needs, the same desires. And you got these two ways which represent two choices. And then you have the, 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 the I don't want to call it a law, but a statement that goes, a truth that says, no man can serve two masters. No man can serve two masters. So, the God's way is people owning everything, doing everything for everyone. Unlimited supply of abundance. The chaotic way, the devil's way, as we want to call it, is using money. So rather than work together, you obey who got the money. Who's got the money? The boss. Who's the boss? The boss is the one who took, conniving, and lied to you, swindled you, did everything they could to you, and owned everything. Own all the mines, all the gold, all the oil, all the minerals, all the everything. You just out there, on you got your labor, the slave, laboring for them for some dollars that they give you to buy the same identical things that you yourselves are making every day. And then they put money on it, and then they start taking taxes and fees and taking all that money away from you, so you still don't have anything. And then when they start adjusting taxes as they're doing in 2017 to take even more money and put it in the hands of those who don't need the money and take it away from those of you who need it the most. And that's the way of the world. That's the way of the world, right? Right? And you see the way of, the, of, of God's way, right? So what do you do? What do you do? The devil is going to do the devil's thing. And God's going to do God's thing. The devil is going to be promoting money and his way of life. You're going, to promote, you're going to be promoting life and God's way of life. That means exercising to the degree that God has given you the understanding to perpetuate your life, to perpetuate your living in God's spirit, living in you to the degree that it spreads and gives light to the dark side of ignorance and chaos. 
to let it know that the peace that they so aspire, especially to those who are slaves over here for, for, the, for the devil, complete slaves. And if, if you are a poor person living on the street, if you make it under, over under a hundred thousand dollars, if you go into the military to get an education and get a home loan, you are a pure de slave to the system. And you're serving those who make more. Even though a lot of those are slaves, but you are definitely slaves. I can tell you that because I'm giving you, I'm comparing you to God's way. I'm not comparing you to the world's way. To the world's way, many of you think compare yourself to the third world, where people are being treated worse than you. And you said because you're being treated better than them, you are all right. Well, see, God's world don't work like that. God's world says you've got to have peace, prosperity, and joy, and you've got to have careers of your own choosing, and you've got to love living and be a slave to no one. But power to the mighty, almighty, God, Allah, whatever he is, that's real. So I want to thank you so very much for giving me this your time, ladies and gentlemen. What have I basically said? I basically said to you that no man can serve two masters. If you out there saw yourself serving God, and you try everything you possibly can to get your hands on the God of the devil's world, which is the dollar, then you can't be doing too much of anything for God, which is love. And this is why people today are saying they don't believe in God. This is why you got so many atheists. This is why you got so many people chastising because they do not know the magic of God. And doggone it, are you showing it? Hey, no. How can you be showing the beauty and fantasticness of God when you go into the polls voting for the lesser of two evils? There's no God anywhere close to you that's directed to the real God. No, my friend. So you reaching out there believing that God is going help to help you get those dollars and you can give to a food shelf and you serving God? That's not God's way. That's the devil's way. That's the way to make you think. <laughs> Deceiving you. Making you think you're doing something for God. You're not doing anything for God. You are doing what the devil allows you to do to keep you in check. Now, if you were doing what God wanted you to do, you would be wiping out hunger. You'd be making sure that whoever's robbing the people would stop robbing because you'd expose that they are being robbed and you would not only expose that they're being robbed, you would reveal the solution to the problem and work on what they're going to say then. And even after they try to kill a person, let me tell you one thing. Bottom line, ladies and gentlemen, because I know you know the end of that story. <clears throat> the devil is going to be the devil. And when you get to that point that the devil say you are in the way, what is the devil going to do? You have heard it said that on the day that you violate this is the day you should surely die. That didn't just happen on the good side in the story. That happened on the bad side too. The devil is saying to you, on the day that you start messing with this program, when you start messing with the world and the way the world is set up, the way the world operates and the world, how it benefits those that benefit, when you step in there and start messing with that to some degree that it has an effect, you got to go. Now, the devil got all kinds of stuff to get rid of you. All kinds of stuff. And here you over here in God's love. What are you supposed to do? You can't. Or can you? Can you retaliate with the same violence that they bring to you? Is self-defense okay? Well, that's something that each individual has to come to a conclusion about for themselves. If it's on the same page, I would say it's great because therein is the power of God. And whatever is required to be done, the Spirit of the Lord will move through you and that will take care of that. That will take care of that, but you all got to be on one accord. You can't be wishy-washy. I believe in defending myself. I don't believe God going to come. To, all that kind of stuff is not going to do anything. You got to be on one accord. Either you agree that you self-defend, you self-defend. If God comes through for you, because you're not going to lose if you're on the right hand side. I'm going to tell you that. Or if you decide not to do anything, then God comes through and part the ocean. So you can walk through. All I can tell you is this. You don't join the devil. Because once you join the devil, all those people that were doubting God got the evidence that it wasn't nothing. And they got the evidence in you.
Think about that. Think about that. No man can serve two masters. You either love the devil or you love God. And if you love God, you're not thinking about pleasing the devil. If you love your wife, you ain't thinking about pleasing a hope. You know what I'm saying? That's a hope. Be a man. Be a woman. Be real. Bye-bye.